Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm driving the 2023 Chang'an Unity from Chang'an Lebanon. It's been a while since I posted it on YouTube. Uh, so today we're gonna be taking a full in-depth review of this car because it's very exciting. It turns out it's like crazy on the road. I cannot wait to show you what it's all about. So you can see today I'm in beautiful downtown Beirut taking a look at this beautiful Chang'an Unity. I mean, I love the spec on this car. The blue looks amazing. And I mean, take a look at this design. They did amazing uh, with the whole aggressive uh, sporty design. You can see we have quad exhaust tips at the bottom, beautiful LED data my lights on this car we have front and rear led lights and then take a look at this massive spoiler very intriguing design to say the least we do have fake carbon obviously but i mean it's really nice design very aggressive more aggressive than the lamborghini urus um spoiler which is really nice we do have an automatic tailgate which is always nice to have and i mean take a look at the bottom design i mean that is crazy huge thumbs up to Chang'an for this design it looks absolutely stunning we do have 20 inch rims and they're blacked out uh, as you can see uh, with the contrasting yellow uh, calipers again uh, to match the whole uh, yellow accents on the car you can see the door handle over on the top flush door handles for the front take a look at that this is how you open it we do have bucket seats at the front I'm gonna show you that uh, in a second and take a look at this front and uh, honestly huge thumbs up for this design to have these X's over here that light up at night one really cool feature about the Chang'an Unity is that you can move it with the key fob as we saw on the Chang'an CS85 you guys might remember that review it's backing up with the key as you can see and then we can move it to the front as well I love those lights at the front they're honestly amazing with the X accents let's see if it hits me uh, right now there we go pretty interesting LED daytime lights at the top and then we have the high beams down at the bottom uh, sensors obviously at the bottom and this again fake carbon uh, fiber front splitter but I mean overall big thumbs up so as I'm driving around downtown Beirut in the new Chang'an Unity I wanted to show you uh, the automatic tailgate that we have we have crazy amount of space honestly again I love this design on this car opening up uh, the automatic tailgate you can see we have this amount of space in the back and even more space at the bottom take a look at that and it's even divided so yeah a big thumbs up for the practicality let's go ahead and check out the back seats again and again i have to mention the very smart design of the Chang'an unity i mean take a look at how the door handle is beautifully integrated into the c-pillar it's a pretty chunky c-pillar honestly and it's kind of annoying when driving but i mean i will mention that later on opening up the door you can see we have the bucket seats at the front and even buckets over there in the back they're pretty comfortable very supportive one issue you can see the c-pillar is huge so i mean it does feel kind of claustrophobic because your head is here and then the window is slightly moved at the front but i mean i guess it's fine i'm just nitpicking we do have uh, over here a usb port with an air vent and even cup holders over here and i don't know why they don't have a strap so you have to just squeeze your hand in and put it out so yeah uh, there's that but i mean we do have two cup holders which is really nice to have and obviously we can fold the seats 60 40 split uh, which is really convenient all right then so here's what the interior of the new Chang'an unity looks like i love the way it's designed starting off with the steering wheel you can see we have leather on the top and then suede accents over here with this nice yellow stitching unity engraved at the bottom it's flat bottom which is really nice it's a bit thin but i mean i love the way it feels uh, in your hands and on the left you have cruise control stuff and then on the right you have uh, multimedia functions uh, with the voice command as well which is really nice uh, you can see the driver display at the center uh, Chang'an has improved so much its infotainment system i mean take a look scrolling between the various modes going to sport i mean much better than the previous generation so big thumbs up and then we do have a center screen with apple carplay and one thing i love going into reverse this is how you operate uh, the gear selector by the way reverse neutral and drive so yeah this is how you do and then you can see we have a 3d surround you which is really nice very accurate as well it's a pretty fast system honestly scrolling through the various modes big thumbs up to Chang'an uh, for this uh, system uh, put it back into park you can see we have the climate control stuff over here I don't really like this chrome plastic um, you know it feels a bit cheap uh, but I mean I guess it's fine uh, these yellow accents do look really nice hazards take a look how the hazards blink it's really funny and then you can see the small silhouette over here it's blinking as well so I have my foot on the brake removing so yeah you can see that um, and then oh, one thing you can see the light over here when putting the left signal or the right signal is gonna rotate and that and then if you have the collision warning it's gonna blink red so yeah really functional stuff and then as you can see we have wireless phone charging which is always very convenient um, and then these are the buttons for your 360 surround view camera this is to save the video recording and then this is spark assist now one thing that is very weird we don't have a volume knob inside this car I reviewed the CS uh, 85 as well and didn't have a volume knob I'm not really sure why Chang'an has a thing with volume knobs too I believe this is how you yeah this is how you operate the volume settings i mean that's very very stupid um you see you have the uh, two cup holders over here with the auto hold um over here the uh storage area and then more storage over here uh you know decent amount of space and i honestly love those bucket seats we do have a panoramic sunroof 
take a look at that. So yeah, it's pretty large as well. It doesn't open up, but I mean, it's pretty wide. Uh, let's go ahead and drive this car. All right, so I finished editing a few stuff and I grabbed my coffee. Uh, now we're on the road in downtown Beirut to see how well this car performs. Uh, in terms of daily driving, obviously nothing too exciting in terms of the driving because this car, uh, unfortunately, it does look amazing. It does look really sporty, but that powertrain doesn't agree and the powertrain doesn't want to be uh, as aggressive as we would like it to be. Uh, it has 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine only and it makes 177 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. Now, torque figure are pretty good but uh, let's accelerate no tip tronic or anything we cannot downshift so might as well floor it so yeah not the fastest it's a bit uh, noisy as well uh, I just wish that powertrain was better but uh, don't get me wrong it's a pretty smooth powertrain I mean pop it into eco all right so with that on Beirut we just want to be the most fuel efficient um, driving mode and honestly it's really smooth power delivery has improved a lot on Chang'an's uh, previously it jerks during takeoff and whatnot now it's just really nice really smooth gear shifts are pretty fast as well so yeah you cannot do the shifting uh, yourself as I mentioned but I mean I don't think that's a big of a deal and we have a beautiful F8 Tributo parked up this road wow that looks amazing let me just take a picture of that for the gram Steering is very light as well. I love the steering wheel. It's very sporty with the suede accents. Now, I'm not too sure about the suede because as you know, uh, with time, these are going to be uh, not the most convenient. And especially in a family SUV, I feel like uh, this will be a daily driver. So the choice of materials in this car is questionable. Uh, but I mean, we have it right now and it's perfect because it only has 146 kilometers on the clock. I got it with around like 70, 60 maybe. Uh, so yeah, it's a brand new vehicle. Um, we do have all sorts of uh, cool tech in terms of lane departure warning uh, and it even steers you back into your lane. Now it's not very accurate uh, and it's scary sometimes. Now the main problem about the lane departure warning is that it steers you into your lane but I mean it's not linear. Uh, so now perfectly we're driving and then now I just jumped to the second lane and it's trying to steer me back into this lane. So yeah, it's not perfect, it's just swaying to the right and the left. It's not like turning it and just putting it steady. Um, so yeah, I just... There we go, so you can see how aggressively it turned and then we have a car over here, I hope we don't hit it. Uh, so yeah, we do have a turn, come on, turn, Chang'an, turn, and we're just going straight to the wall. I am listening. Open up all windows, please. Opening all windows. So now we have all windows open, which is really nice. Uh, uh, close all windows. Opening all windows. No, close all windows. There is no route. Uh, uh, Chang'an, close all windows, please. Please continue. Yeah, I have to comment. It goes over road bumps very smoothly. Uh, even potholes and road imperfections. This car really glides over them. I hate the turn signals. What is that sound? Going out of a... So yeah, uh, again, nothing too exciting. I'm not doing a lot of performance tests right now, but I mean, let's see how it moves. All right, so it's pretty planted to the road. Let's go, very precise steering. That was a nice dance. Turning circle is really impressive as well. I love that steering response. Accelerate, baby, come on. I just go into here. It's planted, there we go. Obviously that three spoiler doesn't put a lot of aerodynamics. Uh, I mean, it's, I believe it's just there to look good. Where's the launch control? Launch, all right, so I found the launch control setting under body, which is very weird, not in driving. Anyway, so let's activate launch control. Um, okay, hold steering for safe driving, confirm. Vehicle status met conditions, please follow the steps to activate the ejection start. Ooh. Fasten seat valve switch to sport, we're in sport, turn off traction control. I believe I need to turn off traction control through the screen, okay. Turn off traction control, there we go. Mash the brakes and the throttle. Ejection start activated, three, two, one, let's go. Come on, Chang'an, come on, struggling for traction. So yeah, I'm not gonna hit 100. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was underwhelming. That was a very um, weird launch control. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> So you find me parked up in the middle of the road in downtown Beirut. It's a beautiful morning to film the Chang'an Unity. One thing I have to stress on is how beautiful this car looks. I mean, I cannot appreciate enough uh, this design. I wish you guys were here to see it in person. This spec is absolutely incredible. And I mean, this design with the spoiler, the carbon fiber accents, and again, the beautiful city of downtown Beirut. I love coming here. What do you guys think?